how Phoebe Denever prepared for her role of a picture-perfect lady, which cast member made Nicola Coughlin cry, and why Regé Jean Page doesn't like to be compared to the iconic Mr. Darcy. Hi, I'm Joy. Let's start. Phoebe Denever as Daphne Bridgerton The 25-year-old actress revealed that when she first read the Bridgerton script, it simply blew her away. She grew up watching a lot of period dramas, but this one was different. It felt so epic, but underneath the grandeur and excitement were these complex, raw characters, shared Phoebe. The evolution of a young woman who doesn't get the luxury of finding herself was an interesting concept to me. Soon after being cast in the show, she immersed herself into preparing for the role of a picture-perfect 19th-century debutante in search of a suitable husband. Amazingly, that included etiquette training, horse riding, dance rehearsals, and piano lessons. Although Daphne Bridgerton is Phoebe's most significant role to date, acting is literally in her blood. Being the daughter of British star Sally Dinover and screenwriter Tim Dinover, Phoebe began performing professionally at the age of 14. She appeared in British series like The Village and Prisoner's Wives, but you probably know her better as Lottie from the American crime series Snatch and Claire in Younger. As for details about her private life, we know that in 2013, 2014, Phoebe was dating recruitment executive Simon Merrill. The couple even went around Thailand, Indonesia, and Vietnam together. He's half Thai, she said of Simon at the time, and we went to his family's village. His grandma, aunt, and uncle are still there, and it was a really incredible experience. And three years ago, Phoebe was rumored to be dating actor Sean Teal, known for the series Rain. But as of now, the actress seems to be single. Jonathan Bailey as Anthony Bridgerton Like most of his castmates, Jonathan is best known for his work on British TV in series like Doctor Who and Broadchurch. He's also an experienced theatre actor famous for the role of Jamie in the musical company, and American audiences might recognize him from a stint he did on the Jack Ryan series. But from this Christmas on, we'll know him as the overprotective eldest son among the Bridgerton siblings. Jonathan Bailey was happy to get the role on the period drama because he enjoys how visually striking it is. He even wanted to add some details to his character's appearance. He was sure that Anthony should have a mustache and sideburns. And the showrunner actually let him do it, but took it off during the actual shoot. The 32-year-old actor plays a straight character on the show, but he is out gay in real life. Discussing his acting experience with Digital Spy, Jonathan said that although it shouldn't matter at all what character a person plays, there's a narrative that openly gay men aren't playing straight in leading roles. The actor also praised the Shondaland camp for having their finger on the pulse of today's culture, as his sexuality was never even a conversation during casting or shooting. By the way, speaking about his steamy scenes on Bridgerton, Bailey shared that there was a special consultant who worked with all the actors on the show. You do all the scenes with the intimacy coordinator before the director comes in, he explained. With Sabrina Bartlett, we just talked about how there are slight little ways in which you can have sex and showcase the power within sex. The actor hasn't revealed if he's single or has someone special in his life. But in last year's interview, Jonathan admitted that although he's always been inquisitive about open relationships and how that works, he would want a long-term committed relationship. Nicola Coughlin as Penelope Featherington This 33-year-old Irish actress is no stranger to period dramas. Two years ago, she got the role in the acclaimed series Harlots, where she starred alongside Liv Tyler and Samantha Morton. Nicola shared that both Bridgerton and Harlots do really well at going back in history and telling the untold story. Sometimes period dramas feel very referential, and the dialogue feels out of a playbook, she revealed. But Bridgerton felt very sharp and sparky and modern and fresh. Amazingly, she was the first person to be cast in the show, and the actress was thrilled to know the details of her character's story. But what really got her excited about being a member of the Bridgerton cast is that the narration for the sharp-tongued Lady Whistledown was provided by none other than a real legend. When I found out Julie Andrews was going to be in the show, I cried, she recalled. They literally could have not found a better person. She's absolutely perfect. Nicola Coughlin is known as a fun-loving person who easily connects with people. Portraying intense female friendships on screen inevitably leads to forming bonds with your co-stars, and Nicola's latest friend is Claudia Jessie, who plays Penelope's closest confidant, Eloise Bridgerton. She's a Buddhist vegan who lives on a boat, and I love buying fancy handbags and watching reality TV, revealed Nicola. But we just clicked. But when it comes to her private life, the actress prefers to play mum. And although she's extremely vocal on social media, you can hardly find any hints as to whether or not she's currently dating anyone. Claudia Jesse as Eloise Bridgerton Surprisingly, Claudia first auditioned for Penelope, but as Nicola Coughlin was already cast, she was offered the role of Eloise instead. 
The showrunners considered the relationship between the girls so important that a scene between Penelope and Eloise was used for Jessie's first audition. Claudia and Nicola got on really well, and that's why their performance is so noteworthy. We were really excited to show a really beautiful female friendship, Jessie explained. No competitiveness, no jealousy, nothing but pure friendship that they had since childhood and will have forever. Claudia got her first TV role back in 2012, and since then she's built a rather long resume that includes, among others, such series as Porters, Lovesick, and Vanity Fair. She's 31 years old, and as we've already mentioned, Jessie is a Buddhist and a vegan. She doesn't use any social media and prefers to live a quiet life with her partner Joseph, who's a sound engineer. The couple have renovated a houseboat so they can glide up and down the canal network of their hometown, Birmingham. But the idea of marriage and children isn't at the front of her mind for the moment. Luke Thompson as Benedict Bridgerton the actor who portrays the artistic second eldest Bridgerton son is 32, and we should say he's a man of many talents. Luke Thompson has an extensive background in theatre with roles like King Lear and Julius Caesar, but he's also appeared on the big screen in the war drama Dunkirk and in several TV projects. He's well versed in the waltz and period dances, has a tenor voice range, is a fencer, knows stage combat, and is highly skilled at the piano. Moreover, according to Phoebe Denever, Luke can draw too, and even made a portrait of her during the filming of Bridgerton, but it's unclear if he's currently dating anyone. Luke Newton as Colin Bridgerton The third Bridgerton brother is portrayed by 23-year-old Luke Newton. He's best known for his role on the British Disney Channel series The Lodge. Besides acting, Luke is a skilled dancer and has an incredible voice. In his Instagram, you can see several videos that prove that he's a great singer. Newton has a younger sister, Lauren, and thus he's become uncle to his first nephew. Luke currently resides in London with his girlfriend, stage actress Jade Davies. According to Instagram, it seems like the couple have been together since mid-2019. Ruby Barker as Marina Thompson Ruby's been getting acting jobs since she was 11 and also acted on stage. Before Bridgerton, Barker was mostly known for her role in the teen fantasy drama Wolfblood. Most recently, she starred alongside Robert Carlyle in the upcoming political drama Cobra. Ruby is in her early 20s and according to her Instagram, her hobbies are painting and climbing. The young actress also revealed that she's yet to identify her sexuality and doesn't want to label herself. This May, Barker shared a picture from a Pride rally, captioned, I'm not ashamed of my sexuality because I don't really know what it is, but life and love is beautiful. Ruby hasn't said whether she's dating anyone, but a look over her social media suggests that she has a boyfriend whose name is Josh Armitage. However, they might very well be just good friends. Sabrina Bartlett as Sienna Rosso before turning to acting, Sabrina was going to be a ballet dancer. It was through the storytelling aspect of dance that I discovered my love of acting, she explained, transforming into something or someone and creating the world they exist in. Although Sabrina's never disclosed the year she was born, she's probably about 29 years old. Since her TV debut in 2014, the actress has been a part of many hit shows, including Poldark, Da Vinci's Demons, Game of Thrones, and Nightfall. Sabrina is in a relationship with the British actor and producer Tom Greaves, although she prefers to keep it low-key. According to her Instagram feed, the couple have been together for about four years. Reggae Jean Page as Simon Bassett, the Duke of Hastings At the very first glance of the Duke of Hastings, it's hard not to compare him to another famous Regency heartthrob, Mr. Darcy. However, the actor who portrays the devastatingly handsome Duke disagrees. I don't think Simon is a Mr. Darcy, but I leave this judgment to the public, says Reggae. He even thinks that the TV series could help change the idea of masculinity, as his character is attractive not because of his darkness or violence, but his way of loving and being moved. The 30-year-old actor was born in Zimbabwe to an interracial couple of a nurse and English preacher. His family moved to London when he was 14. Page was self-admittedly a loud and attention-seeking kid for whom acting was just one of his hobbies. He was also in a punk rock band with his little brother. Reggae intended to study sound engineering at university, but the National Youth Theatre changed his trajectory. It was the first time I'd ever been in a room with a group of kids who took acting as seriously as I did and went as deep as I wanted to go, he recalled. So Page pretty much immediately ran away from university to be an actor. After drama school, he was acting both on stage and on British television, but five years ago he moved from London to Los Angeles. You might have seen him in the adventure action movie Mortal Engines and in another Shondaland series, the legal drama For the People. Clearly, he made an impression on Shonda Rhimes as he was brought back to play the dashing Duke of Hastings. By by the way, Reggae says he appreciates the irony of the fact that it took the Americans to cast him in the UK. Thanks to the chemistry between Simon and Daphne on Bridgerton, fans are wondering if the lead actors are dating. Well, in real life, they're just good friends. 
Four years ago, Paige reportedly was in a romantic relationship with Antonia Thomas, his co-star in the action spy thriller movie Survivor. But since then, there's no information about him being linked to anyone. The actor remains tight-lipped about his love life, although it's hard to believe that he could be single. We hope that reggae didn't take that never-to-marry idea from his Bridgerton character. So we'll keep an eye on him and hope that he and the rest of the cast will return in the potential second season of the show. Who's your favorite on Bridgerton? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay awesome!